hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today if you can't tell by the title we're gonna be doing reading side books for a week i'm nervous i have a few books in mind that i want to read let me go pick them out and show you i have four books i don't know if we'll get to all of them this week the first one I started this morning on audiobook, and that's If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nowlin. I think I'm like 20% of the way through, and so far I am loving it. I was listening to it while I went on a run this morning, and it's so good. It's so good. So far, it's about Autumn and Finn, and they grew up best friends, and then as they get older, they've kind of grown apart. They live next to each other, so they still see each other all the time. It is just so good. I love it. Right now, they're in high school, so it's YA, and it's so cute. I love it the next book i have oh my goodness <laughs> a little life um i've been putting this book off for so long i figured we should just read it that one has almost every single trigger warning there is so definitely look that up if you're thinking about reading it i actually don't really know what it's about i just know that it's very sad and then we have every last word by tamara stone i also don't know what this one is about it's about a girl named Sam and she has really bad OCD and she is consumed by her dark thoughts. And then the last book I have is Darling Venom. This book is about two people who met on a roof and they were both gonna jump and then they decided not to. But I think four years later, the guy does. I'm not totally positive. I've heard such good things about this one too. So I think I'm gonna start a little life today. I am so scared. Obviously I've already started this one, but I like to have a book that I'm reading an audiobook and then a physical book. Oh, I'm nervous. I've been like putting off doing this video because I didn't want to upset myself if I could avoid it just because life has been life recently and I didn't think I had it in me to read a sad book, but why not? <laughs> why not put myself through this? I got my first hate comment yesterday. Actually, technically it was my second, but it hurt my feelings if I'm being honest. <laughs> I got a coffee this morning. I, I try so hard to be a coffee person and it's just not who I am. I just can't do it, but I went to Phil's. I know it's a chain. I don't know how far across the US it goes, but I got some Phil's. It's okay. Today's Monday, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I got a lounge chair off of Amazon and I'm so excited because the UV is like seven right now and it's only noon. So I was gonna go lay out, read my book, get a little tan and finish my coffee cheers i changed into my swimsuit i wanted to try this out it's the trader joe's daily facial sunscreen it's supposed to be a dupe for the super group it looks just like the super group so that's nice it kind of smells like it too anyways this is my last week before my classes start again so i figured i would take advantage of it and read some good books enjoy the sun i'm gonna go to the beach tomorrow okay we're gonna go sit outside and start this I just woke up. It's literally 10 a.m. Oh my god, what am I doing? I've been staying up so much later recently and then waking up so much later recently and I absolutely hate it because the mornings are when I'm the most productive. It's already 10. Oh my god. I barely recorded anything yesterday because I went to the beach and my camera died. A little bit of a reading update. I have been reading A Little Life. I've been switching off like reading it and listening to it via audiobook. I honestly have no idea where I am. I think I'm around page 170, somewhere in this region. So I still have a lot left of this book. And then I've been listening to the audiobook for If He Had Been With Me every morning while I go on my runs. And I'm out of listening out on Spotify which is so annoying so I'm gonna switch over to reading this physically but I'm about 40 45 percent of the way done I'm about here we're just gonna go with that because I don't feel like finding my page this book I'm really liking it's so good this one I'm also liking it's just a little bit more mundane it follows four college friends plans for the day I made a to-do list last night because 
Got a lot to do. I was gonna run four miles this morning because it's already 10. My day is basically already gone. I am already stressed out. The most vital hours of my day when I am the most productive were spent sleeping. It's fine. I needed the sleep. I've been exhausted recently and it's about to get so much worse with everything I have coming up, but it's fine. I have this massive zit on my forehead, so I've been putting pimple patches on it. So like, don't look at that. Oh, anyways, I was telling you guys about my to-do list. Sorry, totally spaced out. I was gonna run four miles this morning, but I'm not going to anymore. I'm just gonna do one mile. We'll do four miles tomorrow. And then I'm gonna come back and do a little Pilates workout. I need to journal because I have so many thoughts up here right now that I need to put on paper before I like actually combust. I'm gonna try and finish if he had been with me. I really need to edit a video. I'm like already stressed out. My room is a mess and I have so much reading to do. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a run. Hopefully clear my head and not think about everything that I'm thinking about. Lovely, lovely. I have a bit of an update. I'm looking a little red. I was just sitting out in the sun. So I did my run and then I did my Pilates and then I went and got Starbucks, got my favorite drink and then they gave me like a free frap. And then I laid out in the sun for like the past hour and a half. And I was reading a bit more of A Little Life. I am, I think I'm on like page two, 276. So. We're making progress. My goal is maybe page 400 today, but I also want to read more of this book and it's already 1.30. I have had nothing to eat today, so I need to go make some lunch. I also seriously need to clean my room. This is disgusting and I still haven't made my bed yet today. Tell me why it feels like two in the morning. Like I am exhausted and I don't know why. I didn't end up reading any more of A Little Life. I don't know, I just haven't really been in a reading mood this week. I've just been so busy with like other things that reading has kind of been on the back burner. I've still been listening to books, but reading, I just, I don't know, I don't know. I'm like stressed out about next week, like how I'm still gonna find time for reading just because I am going back to school. That's next week's problem. I got pretty far in If He Had Been With Me. I'm on like chapter 57, about here in the book. So I have this much left. And then in A Little Life, I think I'm still at page 276 or something. The goal tomorrow is gonna be to finish this and then maybe get to like page 500 in A Little Life, maybe start a new book. I don't know. I feel like these videos when it's reading fantasy for a week, reading romance for a week, reading sad books for a week, I feel like I need to read more than three books to make the video worth it or interesting for you guys. I feel like I need to almost have like a book done every single day. And I feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to read this week so much so that I just don't want to do it. I feel like I'm pressuring myself to read and it's like stressing me out to the point where like I don't even want to pick up a book because I don't want to think about it because I feel stressed out and it's pressure I'm putting on myself, which is dumb. But that's like just kind of how I'm feeling. Like I don't want this week to be done and have only read two books. I just feel like that's not, I feel like I can do better for you guys, but I really need to just sit down and read. But it's like, I have so much other stuff that I need to do before I go back to school next week that I'm just so overwhelmed. And I just feel like I'm running out of content ideas. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. I'd be so happy to film whatever you guys wanna see. I just don't know how reading vlogs and like weekly vlogs are gonna work when I go back to school. Before my camera battery dies, I did want to just quickly say thank you so much to Sarah 
Laura for sending me this book. I received it in the mail the other day and I totally forgot to mention it to you guys. I just wanted to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to receive mail of any type from you guys. If you ever send me a book, please put like your at or something so I can contact you and just tell you how thankful I am. But thank you so much, Sarah. I'm so excited to read this. You guys know I love Frida McFadden. So this was so fun to receive in the mail. It makes my heart so happy. So thank you. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I did what I said I would do. I didn't go to bed earlier last night, but I did wake up earlier. So right now it's 11. I woke up at 8. I ran four miles, showered, did Pilates before my shower. Now I'm about to go pick up my Starbucks, but I thought I would just chat with you guys real quick because... I finished it. I feel like everyone I have seen who has read this book has been absolutely destroyed by the ending, sobbing, whereas I'm okay. I mean, obviously when I finished the ending, the last, I don't know, 10 chapters or so, I had full body chills and I just felt like numb. I was just like stuck in place with just chills and it was so sad. I cannot wait to read the next one and see Finney's point of view. I know people said don't get your hopes up for that one, but I am so excited to read it because after reading this, I feel like that's all I need. I think that's one of the easiest five stars I have given a book. That ending was heart-wrenching. I just don't think I have it in me to cry right now. Like I haven't cried in quite a while. I just think I've cried all my tears for this year. I think I cry them all in February. So we have one book done that does make me feel a little bit better. Didn't vlog me reading it all yesterday because I didn't read it all yesterday. I think I read 20 pages of A Little Life while I was eating dinner. I got to page 300 and then that was it. I was just so busy yesterday and I did not have it in me to read. Today I've been a little better. This weekend though I'm definitely gonna try and prioritize reading but I actually started Every Last Word by Tamara Stone. I'm on page 82. I might read A Little Life. I might put it off a bit just because it is a lot slower pace, so I find myself just kind of not necessarily being bored, but I'm not engrossed in the story, and that's kind of what I want. So I am reading this, like I said in the beginning of the book, the book, in the beginning of the video. This is about a girl in high school who struggles with OCD, and so far, not saying that like I have OCD, but I find this really relatable. Like the relationship she has with her friends in high school is how I felt with my friends in high school, just like the anxiety that she feels. Feels. I feel like I can relate to that a decent amount. Saturday. I'm looking so pale. I literally blend into my white walls. Anyways, I already am up and at them. Clean the room. I was working on every last word some more. I think I'm gonna go back to reading A Little Life today. I'm gonna try and read some more of it, but I also maybe want to try and finish this. It was like 360 pages, so I got to page 200. So I'm hoping to finish this today. So far, I am loving it. It is so good. I got so into the story so quick. I'm gonna go pick up Starbucks. I have something at 11, and then we're gonna read for like the rest of the day, hopefully. I wanna walk on the treadmill because I didn't go for a run this morning. I was just not feeling it and I'm trying to like listen to my body more. So I'll definitely go on a run tomorrow. I might do like a 30 minute Pilates workout today, but I'm gonna walk on the treadmill and I figured I can read while I do that. So as I've been reading every last word, I actually don't know if it's a sad book. Don't know why, I assume that was a sad book. I just finished walking on the treadmill for the last 160 pages of this. We got like five miles in, which is great. Love getting my steps in. And if I can multitask, even better. This book definitely took a turn that I wasn't expecting. The last 80 or so pages, chills, full body 
chills. <laughs> it was so good. I was not expecting that to be a plot point, but I actually loved it. This book was so good. I wouldn't say it's a sad book, but it definitely has sad elements. When I said I had chills, it was like, it wasn't because I was happy. Okay, we'll just say that. What I've noticed from reading as much as I do, sometimes I'm like, I actually don't want a happy ending. Sometimes I just don't want it all to work out because I just feel like that's slightly more realistic. Life doesn't always work out. Sometimes I want a book that I can relate to more because my life isn't a fairy tale like some of these books. I don't know what that says about me, but that's why I love this book. This one does have more of a happy ending, but I still really enjoyed its contents. The stuff in this book, the things they talk about and discuss, the way they make high school look not so perfect, I love that because the main character struggles with who she is and her friend group and not really feeling like her friend group is a healthy group of friends and she feels like they don't even care about her really. I loved that because that feels so realistic. I just feel like it's more relatable. I'm gonna think on my rating for this book. I've been reading a decent amount of A Little Life. I'm on page four. 11. I'm gonna start this tomorrow and then continue this. I have like 350 pages left So I don't know if I'll finish this tomorrow, but I am actually really excited to continue reading it I know before I said that I wasn't super into the story. These last 100 pages I've read have been so good I feel weird saying that they're good because the things that have happened in the last 100 pages check the trigger warnings. It has been so intense. Very emotional, honestly. I haven't cried yet while reading this, but I have found myself wanting to. My heart breaks for Jude right now. my reading for the night because it's getting late and I'm tired so I thought I would update you guys. I read a really good amount of A Little Life today. I got to page 577 and then I also started Darling Venom today. I only read the first 50 pages so I'm not very far. It is the next day so I thought I would give some closing thoughts on all these books that we've read. I ended up reading a decent amount. I know I was stressed out about reading enough in this video. The first one I have is If He Had Been With Me. This one I loved so much. I'm so excited to read the next one. I actually ordered it on Amazon. I don't know if I'm gonna read it right away or if I kind of wanna wait a little bit so that the story's not so fresh in my mind because I don't want it to be too repetitive. And then I finished Every Last Word by Tamara Stone. This one again, I have not stopped thinking about this book. I think I'm gonna give it a five stars. I don't know, I just really, really liked it. I feel like it depicts a not so perfect high school experience really well. And then we have A Little Life. This one, I think I'm somewhere in like the 600 page range. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot left, but I am actually loving it. I'm scared to see the end. Ugh, I just feel such an attachment towards Jude. And then we have Darling Venom. This one, I'm on page 80. I read a little bit more today and I plan to read more later tonight. So far, I'm really liking it. I'm interested to see how the romance between her and Kellen's brother kind Kind of happens it's interesting those were the four books we read in this video i am happy i did this video because i literally found two five stars and these ones i haven't finished yet so who knows if they're gonna be five stars or not i honestly can see them being somewhere in that range a little life i think i'm not gonna rate because it just feels wrong to rate it thank you guys so much for watching if you like this go ahead and like comment subscribe anything you do helps me out so much and i really appreciate it i hope you guys know that love you i'll see you so soon in my next one bye